From what we have learned so far in Photoshop, smart objects are amazing, right? They maintain the details. Whatever filter you apply, you can change the values later. However, there is one setting that you need to watch out for. Otherwise, smart objects, even smart objects can turn your image into trash. Here is how. So here we have a very high resolution image, 8000 by 6000 pixels approximately. Let's say you want a low resolution version of it. What do you do? You simply go to image, image size, and let's say you want 1200 pixels width. You want to maintain the aspect ratio, so you check that. All right, set that again. Let's leave this resampling to automatic. Hit OK. Now this is not bad. It is 1200 by 840, but it still works. It's not bad. It's looking pretty great. Amazing for web. But what if there was a smart object involved? Let's go back to how it was. This is super high resolution as you can see. You can zoom in as much as you want. Of course, there's a limit, but you get the point. Now, if we were to make a copy of the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J, and let's convert this into a smart object by right-clicking and choosing Convert to Smart Object. Now we're going to do the same thing. Let's go to Image, Image Size. Let's reduce it to 1200. Hit OK. Now there's a problem. It creates those sparkly effects all around. What? in the world is happening. And you may or may not have witnessed it depending upon what your setting is set to, which we're going to get to it in a while. But the point is, you need to know that setting. This smart object layer is creating all this sparkly effect. But if I turn this off, have a look at this one. This is fine. It's looking fantastic. But only when it's a smart object, it's creating that sparkly effect. Just to compare it side by side, let us make a duplicate of this layer. Right click, choose duplicate and we're going to create a new document. Okay, now let's go to Window, Arrange, to Up, Vertical. So on the left-hand side, we have our regular layer without the smart object, and on the right-hand side, we have our layer with the smart object. Creates that sparkly effect that may or may not be pleasing to you. Now it also happens not only when you resize the entire document, but also single elements. So for example, let's go back to how it was. We still are on the high resolution. We have made a copy and this layer is a smart object. Even if we were to press Ctrl or Command T for transform and then make it smaller like so, zoom in right here, you will see that sparkly effect. The real reason why this is happening is due to interpolation settings or the way the pixels are arranged when you reduce or increase the number of it. Let's say you have an image for simplicity. It has 10 pixels. Let's assume that you reduced the size of the image. Now it has five pixels. So how were those extra pixels removed? What method was used? That is that setting. Or let's say you have an image with 10 pixels. You stretched it and now it has 100 pixels. How were those extra pixels created? Were they averaged out from nearby pixels or some other method was used? How were they created? And that is what that setting determines. Remember that setting when we were resizing the image as well? So if we go to image, image size, if I change the width to let's say 1200 again, here you have resampling settings. Right now it is set to automatic and it works great most of the time. There are different ones that we can use. If we were to use something like nearest neighbor for hard edges and hit OK, you will see the sparkly effect. Let's go back. You have different ones. Let's go to image, image size. If you want to enlarge your image, let's say to even 12,000 pixels width, you can sometimes use preserve details. Maybe it will create better details for you, depending upon what you're looking for. So these are the settings right here. Of course, when you choose preserve details, you have the option to reduce the noise. But this is not what we are concerned about right now. We are concerned about smart objects. How do we change the settings of that? Let's hit cancel for now. Let's make a copy and let us have a smart object ready. Right click on the layer and convert it to smart object. Now to change those settings of all smart objects, simply go to Photoshop settings by clicking on Photoshop settings. On Windows, it would be under edit preferences. Inside of that, simply go to general and then here is the image interpolation setting. And right now, because it is set to nearest neighbor, we see that sparkly effect. Maybe when you resize, you see it blurred a bit. 
Maybe you see it over sharpened. So you can try one of these and see what you like. For the most part, I leave it to Bicubic Automatic. You can try the other ones and I highly recommend that you do and decide what is best for you and your image and your particular project maybe. Let us choose Bicubic Automatic. Hit OK. And now when I resize my smart objects by pressing Ctrl or Command T, that sparkly effect is gone and it looks fantastic actually. So watch out for your image interpolation settings because it applies to all smart objects. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other feature tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.